our team won the primary. And we understand at this point there are a record number of people who voted in this primary. And if you've watched TV the last couple of weeks, you know who's responsible for that turnout. Ann Romney, right there. people who signed the petition to get my name on the ballot. I want to thank the 5,700 who volunteered to campaign with me, and I appreciate their help. And you saw Matt, Matt Waldrop a minute ago. I want to thank Matt Waldrop, the best campaign manager anyone could possibly have, a terrific guy, Matt Waldrop. appreciation to Senator Orrin Hatch for his years of service for our country, for our state. He's fought conservative battles time and time again. We're going to miss him. I'm going to do my best to keep those battles and those fights going forward. I look forward to the next stage of this campaign. Uh, we'll be, uh, of course, debating from time to time on the airwaves and in person with Jenny Wilson. Wish her well. But we expect that Republicans are going to go to Washington again from Utah to represent our great state. Yeah. Now, you want to get my kids up here. Come on up here. They're standing back there. Would you please welcome my son Josh and his children, his wife Jen and his some of his children, not all of them, some of them, and my son Ben and his wife Andy, and their kids are at home sleeping. So we're going to come out here on the stage. Get behind me. Because, of course, grandkids of mine, and of course my own kids and daughters-in-law, that, uh, that really compel me to be part of this political process and to try and make our country as strong and prosperous as it could possibly be, and free. You know, we began the campaign talking about bringing Utah values to Washington. And I get asked now and then, what do you mean by Utah values? And frankly, I believe that Utah values are the very values that our country was founded upon. Yeah. We believe that we're sons and daughters of the same God, and that we are endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights. We believe that free people make better choices than government, and the state government makes better choices than the federal government. We believe that government ought to live within its means, like we do here in Utah. We also welcome immigrants and refugees who come here legally. compassion and generosity for those who've served our country in wartime and in peacetime as our veterans and we're going to care for them. Yeah. We prize education and rigorous debate and we expect the people who are leaders to carry out these debates with civility and dignity. Yeah. And I'll mention one more thing. We're absolutely convinced that America is the greatest nation on earth. election was over, I spent some time thinking about the word great. And I thought, you know, in order to be considered a great country, one would have to be, of course, a strong country, strong military, strong economy. But being strong is only one dimension of being great, and there's another dimension, and that's being good. Some years ago, I had the occasion to meet Shimon Peres, who at the time was president of Israel. And we were talking about America's conflict at the time in the Middle East, and I asked him about what he thought, and he said, you know, before I go on, Governor, I want to make something very clear. America is the greatest nation in the history of the earth. He said, in the history of the earth, whenever there's been conflict between two lands, the nation that wins takes land from the nation that loses, because land has always been the source of value on the planet, strategically, economically. He said, one nation in history has laid down the lives of hundreds of thousands of its sons and daughters and taken the land, America, America is the greatest nation on earth. The only land we've taken is enough land to bury our dead. Now, Utah is also a great state for many of the same reasons. We're a strong state with a vibrant economy, fastest growing economy in the country. We're also a good state of good people. I learned that during the Olympics. We went out and asked for about 27,000 people to volunteer. Over 50,000 raised their hands. How many of you here? I see some volunteers here. Raise your hands and say, yeah, I'm going to be there. What I've learned is when the people of Utah are needed, 
when they have to rise to the occasion, they're there when people call for their help. And so if I'm lucky enough to become United States Senator from the great state of Utah, I will do everything in my power to keep America strong, to make sure that our economy is prosperous for our kids and our grandkids, and also to make sure that the example I set as a leader is consistent with the great values of our state and the great founding values of the United States of America. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah.